All right, time for another flashlight video. Uh, this one is the Craftsman uh, 250 lumen swivel head magnetic flashlight, right? So that's it in all of its glory. And then it swivels. Sorry, I turned it on there. It swivels. And this, this flashlight is freaking awesome. Uh, I love this thing. I got it for 40 bucks. Uh, I bought it on eBay for 40 bucks. Uh, this thing has taken a beating over the years. I always seem to lose this flashlight. I mean, I'll, I'll lose it. I think it's gone for good. And then months later, months later, six months later, I find it somewhere. And because it's got a magnetic base on it, it'll just stick to stuff. Like if, if I have it on my nightstand and it rolls off, uh, the nightstand falls under the bed, I will find it sticking under the under the bed to the bed frame, the metal bed frame. Um, so this thing, I always lose it, but I always find it. And every time I lose it, I think it's going to be the last time I lost it. I'll never find it again. And then I find it in the weirdest place. I mean, one, one time I found it just inside the attic entrance. I had mounted it up to shine in the attic, turned it off, pulled some stuff down, forgot it there for half a year. Um, so it doesn't really like have a model number. It's just the swivel head magnetic craftsman. Um, it's taken a bit of a beating. There's there's damage to it all over. Still works like a charm. Uh, the only thing on this is the little plastic lens here is loose. That's it. Doesn't fall out though. Um, for a swivel light, I always thought the swivel head part of it would be the weakest point on the flashlight, which would probably be the first part that went out or failed on it. So far, I've had this thing for over four years. So far, it's still running strong. It's got three modes on this one. You've got your your inner bulb. I don't think you'll be able to see it. You got the inner bulb bright, inner bulb dim, and then you get a ring of lights around the inner bulbs and so each one of those clearly you're going to have your bright uh for bigger work you're going to have your dimmer and that's what i would use like working under a vehicle working in an attic and then the the ring of lights actually does this really wide span so just dim light everywhere so i mean you could walk through a a bedroom and turn that and that ring of light on you can see a very dim casting of light on everything uh, basically in front of you um, up to 180 degrees it's actually incredibly versatile i found this like a week ago and i was super stoked and i was like i can't wait i thought i lost it because we moved to house i haven't seen it since we moved uh, a while ago um I'm sorry, I saw it after we moved, unpacked everything. Uh, I had it somewhere, used it once, and then lost it for like three months. So let me correct that there. But three months, I thought it was gone because uh, we threw a bunch of stuff away, getting getting going on the, on the new house. So I thought maybe I accidentally tossed it. But nope, I found it, and it was in the uh, bottom of a box of books somehow. So I found it, happy about it, doing a video on it. Uh, I love this flashlight. The magnet is strong. It's stronger than you'd expect it to be. I have not had any issues with the swivel head of it ever. It's still tight. It still functions like it should. There's no loss of light. There's no flickering, nothing like that. Um, the body's sturdy. It's all metal um, wrapped, in, wrapped in rubber for your grip. This is all metal. This isn't plastic. Well, the cap, no, I think the cap's metal too. And the cool thing about this is, is the clip here rotates 360 degrees around the flashlight. So if you want to put it in your shirt pocket like this, that clip can go here on the front and actually hold that in place. And now you have a chest light. And then of course you just pop it off, rotate the head and you're back to a flashlight. I mean, this thing is insanely versatile, $40 on eBay. I would recommend if you like flashlights, if you need an emergency light, a work light with a magnet base, get one of these. Uh, Ozark Trail, Walmart brand Ozark Trail, I've done a few products from them already recently, has their own version of this. I thoroughly plan on buying it and testing it out and comparing the two together. Um, I don't know how much it is at the moment, but it's a Walmart one, so it's probably gonna be around $29, I hope. Um, I give this a five out of 10, or sorry, a five out of five, hundred percent. There's nothing about this flashlight I have a problem with, except for the fact that it Houdini's on me all the time, but I find it in the end anyways. Um, that's probably user error. I wouldn't blame the flashlight, but uh, five out of 10, 
Craftsman swivel head magnetic flashlight. This thing is awesome. Uh, it even does fairly decent if you're going outdoors camping for your campsite. If you're gonna be walking through the woods and you need a big beam, this isn't the one for you. But a workman's flashlight, trades crafts, anything you're gonna be in, any tight spaces, moderately sized rooms, dark attics, garages, under the house, this one's great. Anyways, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, if you want to know anything else about the stuff I'm showing you, if you have any products you want me to try to take a look at and review myself, just let me know in the comments. I've actually done that for a few people for, for flashlights um, and for pocket knives. I'm going to be at some point getting to my, my other videos about... Um, uh, different products we're going to be reviewing. Uh, so stay tuned. I appreciate everybody watching, um, wasting your time on my boring videos and uh, a like and subscribe would be fantastic at this point right now. All the videos I pulled down are going to be coming back up. Um, I, they're only waiting because I got a new app that's going to allow me to add um, captioning on the videos. And that's something I wanted on my videos from the beginning is the words typing across the screen as the video is speaking them and I have that option now I just need the time to get to it so we made some changes to the old videos to put them up a little bit closer to the standards I would want them to be at from the beginning as well as a couple other issues we had run into filming and, and posting them up um, with copyright stuff I didn't understand in the beginning I understand better now don't want to step on anyone's toes cause any issues so we're just hammering out some details those videos are coming back up very soon lost treasures of america cryptids um beginner's luck mysterious mysteries of mystery all of that stuff is coming here real soon appreciate you guys have a good day bye